Okay, what I want to demonstrate here is how to use Firebug. Now I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on so you can see it. In fact, let me uh, adjust my browser window just a little bit so it's definitely in the, in the frame. And it's this little bug here on the lower right-hand corner of your browser window. I'm in the Firefox browser right now. So I've got Fire, Firebug 1.60 running. And what I'm going to do is click on this second button from the left which says, the tooltip says, click an element in the page to inspect. And so that allows me to inspect different elements. For instance, I want to inspect this. Now this is a little thing called um, the blog title. So if I want to change this blog title, the CSS for that, I can just click on this div, generally speaking, and it'll come over here on the right. But what I want to do is change this box. So there's the box, the sidebar, that's the sidebar div that WordPress generates. Now this works for WordPress or whatever HTML and CSS you have up on your page. Um, so it doesn't have to be just WordPress. But anyway, I'm going to click on this div here and I can see that it found my sidebar. Okay, so what I want to do is make some changes on this just to show how it works. Now these are dynamic temporary changes. As soon as you do a screen refresh, these changes go away. But what's nice about this is you can make your changes and try things out before you go to your CSS file and upload everything. Okay, so let's just change this to black. Okay, so that changed. And let's try um, the width on this. It's 160 now. Let's make it 175. Okay. And uh, let's see, is that going to work? Let's try also putting a margin. Oh, let's put a border around this new property. And this property will be um, border. And we'll say that it's uh, two pixels, just so you can see it easier and we'll say solid and we'll say it's gray and let's also do a margin right and we'll make it let's say so you can see it let's make it 20 pixels okay so that's how you can go in and make these changes then you go ahead and make the changes on your css if you like it and then re-upload it uh, okay and then just turn it off right here so that's available. If you got it installed, it's available for any page, not just WordPress pages.